house. Don't wander around. There's needles and stuff lying around. Can't operate the computer without a mouse. You clown. <clears throat> Hello? Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Oh. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Might turn it down a little. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. A bad dream? I hate that sound. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. I have no clue what this is about at all. There's got to be some foreshadow here. I feel like it's a little bit, like, I don't know if it's outer space. Where I don't... I put the tracer fluid? I don't know. Oh, I can squat? Okay. Oh, I'm creepy. Oh, I can... I can... Oh, shit. Can make a mess. <gasps> but fast food. I should it, buy something healthier on my way home. Anybody want some pizza? Oh, I took the keys. <gasps> to Simon. Okay, so this is to us. Our name is Simon. Can I can I open it? Use mouse to rotate. Oh, I can't open this. Okay. Hey, Hello? Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss Yamina. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Just cleaning up really quick. Mapping minds. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Huh. The pages are all messed up. Mapping Minds, Albert Isaacson. Oh. Damn, Mel. Okay. All that. Get well soon, love mom. So we were ill? Something wrong with our brain? What is this? Checkbook? What is this? Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh. Wait, is this about... Oh, wait, Ashley, we just had a dream about this or something. Oh, and Simon. Oh, this is us. Oh, oh. Toronto. 
Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. Terrasque, thank you for the brand new sub. Hello. Lobes, I'm so excited. I have no freaking clue what this is about. Terrasque, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. Okay, so we just sort of saw this. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Oh, her friend and driver, us, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Oh, okay, so that's why we were in the hospital and having our brain scanned. It was from an accident. So we were driving and the girl we were with died. Um, but the, the person who ran the red light, the woman and her children, we don't know right now. They left bruised and largely unharmed. But we were the ones that got, you know, in trouble. The driver of the SUV, whose name has been released by the police, claims that it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Oh. Number 68. Oh, come on, y'all. One more. Cinema Variety, The Ultimate Movie Magazine. Japanimation bigger than ever. Stunts versus CGI. Huh. David Munchie. Okay, so this was the guy <laughs> that was uh, on our phone call. Subject, Neurograph Session. Oh, 2015. Okay, so yeah, this game came out in 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, uh, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. That was about the neurograph session for our brain. New prescription. Dear Mr. Janet, Jarrett, sorry, that's us, Simon Jarrett. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Ooh. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for prazosin, prazosin? to help you with your nightmares. Oh... Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you in the next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peek. Oh, we can send oh, I this? I forgot to hit send. Oh, yeah. We're the goofball. Okay. Uh, so this was to Jesse, which was the person who just called us and said, like, what's our plans? Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need an assignment. Okay, so he works at a bookstore. I wonder if me not sending this changes anything in the game. Better late than never. Nice, and now it went to our scent. Okay. Oops. Okay. Any fun things on the bag? A picture of coffee, that's really great. Picture of a bug. He's a photographer. Oh, what the hell? This is a scary book. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on the vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach, the first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare. As swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves, slowly swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. Oh, I get it. Because pulled into water. What is this? Massive recoil. I feel like all these might be like... I don't 
don't know. Foreshadow to the game? Who knows? Why else would they all be in here? John Hugh is a corrupt cop working for Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who kept is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Lovely. Oh! Sweet. The lights are on. Is it the bathroom? <gasps> yeah, get out of here. Man needs to clean this toilet. Anybody need to brush their teeth? Are those nail clippers? Or is that deodorant? Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna see something. I don't wanna keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. All right. Summer's good coming. morning. Hope it's a good one. Oh, wait. Oh, for free. Meet and greet book signing. Oh, this is the, the scary book that we just looked at that he's reading. Um, an NMRI contrast tracer fluid. Oh. Oh God, is this us and Ashley? I think that's Ashley, the girl who died. Cool. Well, I think we saw everything that's ever at the desk. There it is. Oh. Gulp, gulp. Cabbage? Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Who's Penny? I think I go now. I think we looted the whole house. And by looted, it like looked at the vault. That's your dog's name? Is that me? What am I doing in this game? Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full Saturday Night Live. The comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. I know it was S and L. I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. You won't find me in a poke. Yeah, Ashley died in the car uh, accident with us. That's me. Oh. Hello? Dr. Munchie? I know we're we're like screaming our situation on on the underground. Okay. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Why is it so dark? Biometrics. Oh, is this our doctor's appointment? Well, that's not creepy. Why is it all covered? It's hard to believe that this game is going to get, like, scary. You know. 
Where am I? Who am I? From David Munchie. Who, so whose is this? To Paul. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Oh. Get your stuff ready. From David. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Oh. You're gonna have nightmares if you sleep this? It's not scary yet. The best horror games get you if you're comfortable first, then they get you. Mm. Oh, this was sent to Paul. April 30th. April 27th. Oh, okay. So this was that, and then he sent this. So to David. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security. Talked to Professor Why? We? Why? To Professor Why? To have him vouch for our project, and he and finally got hold of someone honcho or some honcho over the Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget, Paul. Oh, interesting. Okay. Paul is missing. So I need to find the code, yeah? Okay, so we need to find the code somewhere. They said they left a note for the code. Maybe it's in the drawer. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 2501? Uh, tweak for the right length. Blurry. Wait, I might... Oh, I thought I can, like, click it and then it tells me. Okay, 2501. Ooh. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Ooh. Okay. Already to learn about science? Tweak for the right length. A.O. <gasps> the brain has an amazing transformative quality of plasticity that allows itself to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague, David Munshi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. It is about getting the brain to do the right thing. But Munshi and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. How do you pronounce that? Panacea? 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 Very nice. Panacea? Panacea. Miraculous Panacea. There you go. They start out recording something called a na Nakajima, Nakajima Neurograph. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the Neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Wow. Okay. Uh, one, damaged brain scan to produce co a computer model. Cool. Two, numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Cool. And three, perfected treatment is then applied on patients. Oh, boy. Munchie and Berg. I don't know. Do they, do they look trustworthy? Why is that guy? That guy's giving me... I don't know. What is, what is that beard on the left? That is an interesting, it's like a little, little, little guy. It's like a, it's like a goatee, but you don't have the T part. It's like a go lowercase T. Yeah, it wasn't the Tony Stark chin strap. Do chin straps have the little whoop up there? 
It is not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds. But with the right computer model, Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We were able to fail treating you a million times over only, one, uh, only to find the right way. That's so interesting, actually. That's an interesting concept. And when they do find an optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We're very fortunate to get all of this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. John Ribbon. We're able to fail treating you a million times over. So this whole concept is to scan someone's brain and then do tests on it to see how the brain would respond, even if it's not actually the real brain of the person. It's like a, a just a fake you. That's so cool. 2501. I'm scared. Press, wait, press and hold shift while moving to run. It wants me to run now? I don't wanna. What you need to put when you're going to the bathroom? Is that what this is? What if you got diarrhea that day and then your name's on there like six times? First aid? I don't want to stay hurt. I don't trust that door being open. Why is it telling me to run right now and then there's an open door? Oh, there's someone in there. I'm sick that day. I can't see him yet. Someone was in there doing something. There was a man. I wasn't ready. <gasps> How do I inject myself? What is this, lemonade? Jaws. It's a bottle of Jaws. How, what's going on? I'm gonna hide the mouse. Now they won't be able to do anything. See, there's a man in here. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> I mean, it is a cool concept. You know, I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. I don't know, y'all. Does he, does he seem kind of suspicious? I don't know about this. I'm gonna hide his mouse. Don't wander around. There's needles and stuff lying around.
Please, have a seat. How about you have a seat? Let's look at your brain. I'm sitting down. I love how he's like, could you just stop touching everything? <laughs> okay. Ooh, just close your eyes. This is very immersive. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. Oh, why am I all... You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Virgin 6. Good. All I thought he just called us a virgin. It's just a scan. Virgin It'll six. hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Looks a little bit darker than me. This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. if he has any more dialogue hey in the chair anyone oh am i stuck in here anyway oh i think i can just sit up i'll wait a little bit longer any more chair dialogue five four three two one oh, we're going Oh, everything's kind of blurry. Is my vision fucked? What if squint? Where was the thing over here that I went over and he was like, stop touching everything. But it, it said I could like do something. What is that? Are these suits? Am I in a different place? Am I in outer space? What are this looks? Oh, this is different. Oh, we're in a different place. Is there a light switch? What is this? Is this a futuristic fire extinguisher? That was heavy. Oh. Good morning. What is this place? How did I get here? Oh, it's we're not blurry anymore. So we must be okay. I thought that this was sci-fi e. And that's it. Toolbox? Service console. Omnitool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omnitool with fully customized tools and assistance. Insert Omnitool to access. Okay, well, we don't have that yet. Question mark, smile? Nope. Unlock terminal from service console. Well, we know there's monsters in this game and we're playing on normal mode, so we can die. Press M2 while holding an object to throw it. Oh, you know what? Do I think, oh, we gotta break it, don't we? I kind of thought that sounded a little extra heavy when I dropped it. Nice. I was thinking I needed a key card or something. Okay, locked. All right, we've got some, some creepy atmospheric ambience. 
Oh, I'm assuming that little brain in the bottom right is an autosave. Right, anybody want to take a shit or a piss before we start this journey? Don't look. <laughs> Printer, no facts. Data buffer available. Oh, it's working better than expected. Do They're having a really hard time getting up. the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. I'm just so much Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? Zaro and Sim. Sim. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to Theta safe and sound. Theta. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Theta, camp. How did I do that? Leaving a power running. Burns, fractures, bleeding, CPR, recovery position. <gasps> wow. Julia Buck, it's a resub. I'll fight. Carl's gritty, Carl's gritty, Carl's gritty. I'll fight with this. A uh, thermal plant, break room, tech depot, robot dock, service station, and storage. Robot dock. We come from here? This is where we broke the window. Can I open it from this side? Oh, huge. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Nice. All right. Oh, God. Hello? Anyone home? Are these robots? Oh. Why, why am I bugging? My brain's bugging. Oh, hello? These guys look nice. Oh. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Talk like the others. Why are you like this? You want some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Creepy. Press Q and E to lean left or right? Oh, fuck. Not the lean left and right. I'm not scared. What the hell happened here? What are all these, like, robot tentacles doing all over the place? Hello? Well, it's interesting that we're able to, like, touch electronics and, like, have, have a memory of it. Moving while crouching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck it. What's the bad guy look like? Let's get this over with, like a band-aid. Hello? Hello? Um?
Where are we? I was just trying to free him. Why am I seeing in 3D? Oh, my limping is like my health critical. Maybe it wears off. Swipe on the tool. Man can't catch a break. Did I just walk through that? Omnitool. Oh. Omnitool. Omnitool. The Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omnitool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omnitool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C11-21 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Cortex chips. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the on or onboard intelligence the auxiliary slot is a multi-connection, or sorry, connector fitting a large range of tool chip models, including but not limited to A1, A2, high TT, juicy. Okay, so we've been having a few things that have been requesting an Omni tool, so maybe we just go try to get them. This feels a lot like ah, ah shit. Oh, am I zippy zap? Yeah, shit. This feels a lot like Alien so far. With the concept of a monster being up there, you know? Um, I'm gonna go back because I feel like there was something with the Omni tool that we could have used before. Oh, this is what this is what I was thinking of. We're so big and brave right now. I'm Service not even worried. Console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Servers offline, main power suspended, program unreliable denied, emergency systems, 13 days remaining. Oh, okay, oops. Oh my God, I'm picking the wrong thing each time. Upsilon? Sub Simon Jarrett. Oh, so it like reads me? Interesting. Manage tool chip? We don't have a tool chip inserted. Cortex chip? Neither that. What does this read? Welcome back, Louise Muron. Oh, so this was Louise's thing? Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your uh, FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. Okay. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a toolship and run an update. Oh, maybe I needed to go the other place to grab the update. Or like the toolship, I mean. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper, Jane. Note that the installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your experience. Okay. Oh, I just unlocked the toolbox? I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. Virus. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? 
You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Thanks, John. Okay, not much for an inventory yet. Oops. Uh, something opened. It. Oh, was it in here? Oh god, which one do I want? There's so many options. I think they're all gonna work. Okay, now I can do stuff. Yeah. I need to. I need to update it. Manage tooltip update. Okay, it's a quick update. Tooltip security cipher updated. Thanks, Jane. What can I do in something else with it? Is there another option? Can I not put it back? No, it's, I think it's done. Manage cortex chip. Oh, but I haven't found a Cortex ship. Hmm. I don't imagine there's anything left we can do with the other ones. It's just kind of interactive because we can choose a few different ones and it's all the same, I'm assuming. All right, which way is this? Observation tower. All right. Swipe. Oh. Hello? Are we underwater? Oh. <gasps> oh. Data buffer available. This place got swarmed with something. Fishies. Sharks. Those are cool. More fish. Cool. We need to find some health. We're limping around and everything looks 3D. What is this? Oh, don't put your finger in that hole. Ah! What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Did sticking my finger in that hole heal me? You finger to heal in this game? That's weird. That's I stuck my finger in that hole and he said my pain went away. Yeah, so far this has given me Alien Isolation vibes, which was also an incredible game. But in Alien Isolation, you had a gun. And no spoilers and don't tell me, but I don't think you get weapons in this game. I think you just have to... Well, I have no idea. So far, we're just kind of creeping around. So maybe we get a weapon later. I kind of hope we don't. I feel like it's more fun to try to hide and be sneaky rather than trying to have to like kill an alien. 
Oh. Oh, he's still alive. <gasps> a sticky note. Don't touch the structure. Gel leakage can confirm its effects on WAU. Issue has been reported to SSE Wolches. You okay? Hey, can you hear me? It's one of the butthole things again. You need to be free. Oh, sorry. I'll oh, shit. I'm sorry. I think they're sucking up all the energy. Radio signal blocked insufficient power. You're soaking up all the power. I don't know who you are. You're not talking to me, but I'm going to do this. I need it. Why? I was okay. I was happy. You don't have to lie to me. Oh, jeez. I killed her. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, fun. What do I have to do? In the green or the red? Okay. Hey, power's back on. I hate that. That's not a good noise. Ooh, fun. Portugal offline, Spain offline, site delta, site theta. Oh, that's where we we're trying to go to theta. Lambda. Site lambda online. Oh, what oh. is what? What's happening? Hello, is there anyone there? Oh. Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. I'm going to pretend that went uh, on my head. Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? Simon. I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you? Ah, oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look. This place is not. There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. The comm center? I got an achievement answering the call. I talked to Catherine Chun. What the? Oh. Systems. Up Silson standard pressure 2.017 bar. Oxygen unstable. Station diagnosis unavailable. Power restored. Recorded downtime 143 days. 426 megawatts. We've had multiple breaches. All right. System online. Cool. I can't do anything here, right? It's just stuff I get to look at. Cool. Oh. What the? Is that a dinosaur? And the Wally is that? Bro, that looks like Wally buffed out. <laughs> Wally had. 
Wally got got us something. Wally got some cake going on. Critical system failure. Please reboot the workstation of the prompter system from your administrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm imagining that's gonna hurt us though. I'm hoping he doesn't see us here. Is this gonna hurt us? Yep. I don't think it sees us. I might be able to just run. He didn't seem that fast. Uh oh. I mean, there's nothing I could do. It looked like some memories flashed. But before our eyes, as we died, there was a weird, creepy guy. That's interesting. Okay. So we got the auto save. All right, we fall down. And that little guy spawns. Can I climb up this? <laughs> oh, well, that's fucking great. Oh, he's walking fast. He sees us. Thank God for sound design. Oh, I thought he went the other way. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, mother of God. That's a no. Wally, that's a no. Wait, is this the robot we're talking to? I blacked out. Amy Rogers, are you hearing this? Bro, if he's walking up this staircase. Wally, sit. Wally, stay. Drop it. All right. Odds he left. Oh my god, nut, he's gone. Oh! Well, that's comforting.
So many robots. Amy's sketchbook? Oh, she was an artist. Oh, so she was the one drawing all the pictures. Okay. Oh. Is Amy okay? Goodbye, Wally. You are here. Power channel, flow control. Where did, uh, where did the lady tell us we needed to go? To communications, right? Is that what she said? The comm room. That would be communications, comm room. Yeah, everybody remember this map. So we need to go... Does that mean assembly A is down? I wonder if that's what that means. More goopies. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. <laughs> Imagine. That'd be an interesting connection if it was the same as the other thing. Oh, so we can't pull that yet because we probably need the numbers. Workshop. Oh. Hello. Carl? Interesting. I I I did not try boobs with a Z, no. Great point, I probably should have. Okay, well just a little memory in there. So we're able to like read robot memories or like the robots are able to kind of yeah, I guess read their memories because they must have been chasing them at the time or something. Oh, it's a butthole. Yeah, we heal here. I, uh, I, t I fingered the butthole and we're healed. The, the sphincter, the alien sphincter, and then it heals us. Why is that how this works? I, I literally touch that alien sphincter and I heal myself. I, it is such an interesting thing. I mean, it, it is a sphincter type thing. Oh God, he's dead. He's dead. Who is this? Oh, Semkin, this was the guy we've been hearing. Oh, Carl was his first name. Oh, ID 0722, yeah. Wait, he looks like dead dead, like that looks old. Huh. So maybe hers is up here? Uh-oh, boots! That I turn around. We sealed up Cillin to keep it working. Don't fuck it up, Azaro. Carl was not my fault. I need to go put their stuff in.
pressurization hazard. There's a sh shit ton of water coming out of that. Mind your head. Okay. My inventory still doesn't open. Should are are we not going to be able to open our inventory if we don't have? Like I'm pressing tab and nothing's happening. Or is that at the bottom our inventory? Is that what we get to see? Oh yeah, because when I press tab, that pops up. Okay, so that must be normal. Uh, Scarfy Shore, yeah. That at the bottom is it? Oh okay. Sweet. Um, well let me go put in the key card. 0722. Oh, I can hear him. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock off. Carl! Oh, well, that turned ugly pretty fast. fine man is one letter off from being semen oh my god carl semen this is very true all right well let's lock in one of them oops carl semen Mail. Oh, Heather is Wolchek. Okay. Is that how you pronounce that? Wolchek? Is the ZK a, a, like a k sound? Subject Upsilon Auto Process. Power production has been secured. This is from Carl, the guy who died. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is have or hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. Mail not sent. Oh. Oh, it was drafts. Sent. Oh, I can't send it. Okay, well. L then. Okay. Calm center is off. Solution found, shut down one of the highlighted sectors to divert the power to the communication center. Oh, well shit, I wonder if I... Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, so these are the people people we're dealing with. So Jane is the chief factor. But isn't that also the name of our little robot in our little scan thing? Which I'm already forgetting what the scan thing is called. Dispatcher. Vigdis. John Stotier. Theta. Geotechnical engineer, Baxter. Field service technicians, Amy, Gavin, Louise. We've seen Louise's name. I don't think I've seen Gavin's. And we've heard about Amy Azaro. That was the person who was talking to Carl. Okay, we need to kind of just remember the first and last names. Because, like, they kind of describe their conversation in last names. Like, that's what the captions read. But they're... This is when they talk about their first names. I'm going to say log in. Lights? Nice. Oh my lord. Okay, let's read this first. 
neuroimaging platine implant oh do we have this this black box also that's rhetorical this black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition it measures a wild range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity this information is constantly relayed to pathos 2 warden unit oh okay so that's what wau is so the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation for optimum performance please follow the auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied cool well i wonder if we got that we might oh can we oh oh are we about to wait hold on. oh shit Sturdy glass. I was looking for that. <laughs> All right. I don't know Amy's log, and I wonder if we'll find that. Maybe it's in here to the left. It's almost amazing. The game is great. Yup. Oh, are they gonna get all hostile because it's not Amy? More information, Are please. You human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. So, where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Uh, okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You really hung up on appearances. You know that? How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clear memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get <laughs> trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Does he not realize he's a so robot? I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. Find someone who can help. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. So he's oblivious to the fact that he's literally a robot. Oh.
I'm sorry. I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Won't a mechanic make more sense? You're trying to be fucking funny? Give me a medic! But you're a robot! Really? The robots have legs, hands, a face! You're delusional! Okay, calm down. I, I won't... Get some fucking help! Go tell the others! Don't touch me! You okay? Hey. Hello? Hey. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh god. Not that you okay. I think I fried him. Oh, he's back! Hey. Hello? He's okay. He's fine. Okay, I have a quick question. Just just a cheeky little yes or no. Is this the kind of game where the choices you make affect how it ends or no? Yes or no? No? Cool. So, like, if I turn the, I w like, I do I need? I wonder if I need that on or the power off. Communications. Wait, didn't it tell me though? Like, I needed to turn power off in certain areas in order to access like the thing for. So maybe. So I'm assuming. Uh, any soma knowers. Do I, does that technically need to be off though? Like, are, am I supposed to pretty much like kill him in, in a way? Any Soma knowers? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Sorry, dude. It's okay, you're a robot. So now if I go here... Ah, so now I can turn the comm center on. Okay, so we had to kill or hurt him. Cool. I'm glad I went back to him and like had that extra dialogue. Flow control. I don't think we ever went in here, right? Read this. We strained the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. If I pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Oh. Oh. Oh, now it's locked. Okay, so, question. It said I needed to turn off one of the two power sources. Was it this or the other one? So I probably could have left him alive. Is that what that means? Like, I could have turned this one off and kept the other one on? Is that correct? Ah, this, okay, so this was the other power source instead of Carl, and instead I turned them both off. He get up here? What is Wally doing? How did Wally get up here? A 
see no shot he saw us. Why is he running? Can this man go down the hallway? Okay, I'm gonna turn this one back on then. But Carl might be dead. Like, it might be over. Yeah, Wally, get a goddamn hobby, man. Oh, I can't. They're both. D we can't revive Carl. Why is this yellow? Was this piss? Okay, any, any Soma knowers? If I were to have left Carl alive, could anything have happened, like rescue-wise? Ain't no way. Scarfy, that doesn't sound like me. Outcome's the same? Oh, okay. Oh, Durandal, it was just about keeping uh, Carl alive if anything different could have happened. Okay, Wally's going in there. No, no, Wally, you can stay there. Okay, question as well. Just so I know if I need to go back. That door that had water coming through it, do I need to go interact with that right now? Or is that still going to be locked? Just your average calm, relaxing Sunday night? Yes. Nah? Okay. Okay. Because I remember it was locked, but then we did a bunch of shit, and so I thought maybe something might have changed. New York! Start spreading the news. Johnsy, the office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse, Ben. The apocalypse? You text using... Oh, North America, Atlantic Ocean, Europe, Africa. Okay, can I read this one? Libsyn, Maine. <gasps> Miranda, you did this one? Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2, Pathos, Pathos, should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact, 513. List. London. Vigdis John Stodier. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pothos. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor, Jane Adams, and the rest of staff. You are a terrific group, and it's with great com confidence I say that where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. System Director James Bloom. John Z, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. Salute. Wait, also, y'all, peeping the year, it's 20, it's the year 2103? Is that? I'm assuming that's what that means. So this is supposed to be in the future. So, but we're still our young self. That's interesting. Holy shit. So we like time traveled or somehow stayed awake? Manual input required. Um. Uh, Upsilon? 
Start spreading the news. Oh, what the heck? Cool. Lambda. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. I guess we are in the oh, dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Oh, no, she's Jared, hot. Simon Jarrett. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? Oh, Pathos. I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots, crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but I'm I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Would that line oh. of dialogue be different if I didn't kill him? Yeah. I'm assuming robots yeah. Don't feel anything, so. Yeah. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? a little swim i wanted to call the other little numbers okay question for any soma number or numbers any soma knowers if i were to have tried the other ones under lambda would i have gotten errors or something because there were still like five more options yeah i don't know if i trust Catherine either i don't trust anyone yet it's like 80 what years later <gasps> mars hi mars have you played soma before just lore. This is, mm. this is insane. Wait, why am I wearing? What? What? what do I have freaking underwater boots? We're in the same spot. Oh, what in the Subnautica? I still haven't even played Subnautica. Hmm. Just Omicron? A guy would tell you to Jill yourself there's nothing left. Oh, okay. Ugh. Long back, I saw a playthrough. Honestly, such a good game. I had so many people tell me how much, like, this was their favorite horror game. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I know, I need to play Subnautica. It's on my list. I didn't think we would be underwater. Well, we did see that little underwater tube. Oh, nice one! Can I like jump and swim? Oh, it's like we're in space, but like... Oh, this is cool. Oh. Lambda, find the shuttle to Lambda. Hmm. Okay. I'm... So curious how we're able to just breathe underwater all of a sudden. Obviously, no spoilers, but we were just drowning and all of a sudden we're underwatering. I don't. Oh, nice one! Okay, there's a little guy over there. Courtesy of Logan. Wow. Julia Walk, it's a resub! Wait, we can use our thing here, yeah? Happy oh. three years last and three appreciate you and this community so much. Come on! Amy, where were you? It's the field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant? 
plant is safe, we need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasti! The machines killed Carl! Oh shit. Oh, all right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yeah. No, Theta. I was saying so. Theta. I'll head for the show with the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Rooting for you. Well, thankfully, there's not stuff to loot because I'm a loot gremlin. Oh, is that. Is that an underwater Wally? Can I hide in the seaweed? Oh, God. I don't like that it's facing me. Does it know I'm here? No, I, th I think it knows. Maybe it's fine. We just need it. Maybe I just need to talk to it. Don't make me the bad guy. Oh, it's coming. Oh, no. Wait, what did he just say? Why is he so angry? Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep, keep. I think I think we lost him. What is this though? Oh god, I hate that I feel like I have to check everything. What is this? What are you? Why are you blinking? Oh, is this a robot head? Hello? Hello? Oh goodbye. Oh, are you friend? Did I free an enemy? Cute. The other guy was red and scary, but that guy's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. Upsilon. Okay. Is he following me around? Are you my light source? I hope he's a friend because we freed him. He seems very friend shaped. Hmm. Okay, well, follow me. <gasps> it's a crab! Oh, it's gone. Okay. Oh, no, it's right here. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, is that the bad... Oh, fuck, that's the bad guy. Oh! Can you turn your light off, my guy? Huh, okay, so... Is there anything I can work with up here? Oh, God. I'm not seeing, like, any switches. Nobody help or anything right now, just preface. Hmm. Well, I don't... Can I interact with this under here? Maybe I go in where that... Oh. Oh. Maybe I'm fine. I don't think he's gonna know me. Hmm. I am slightly confused. Oh, wait, is this new? This is new, I think. There literally was nothing I was supposed to do back there, I don't think. Yup. It's a walking sim, and I was trying to solve a puzzle. My bad. I got lost a lot outside the bases. Yeah, I was expecting, like, I was, I, like, I needed to turn on one of those things. Is he sawing this open or zapping it or lasering it? What a nice guy. I'm just well, getting my laps in, yeah. Okay. Oh, did he just call him little guy? Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Oh. Okay. 
Well, we had a robot friend helping us, and now he's gone. Oh, can I? Do I swipe it? Can I shut it? Here, ask. Welcome back. Oh, lovely. That's a really nice sound. Oh. Oh, it's so quiet. Let's hope the shuttle still work. Bro, why don't why don't we give us a flashlight? Where's my little my little Eevee? Oh! How did I where did I get a flashlight? The gods are listening. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the second I ask why don't we get a flashlight, we get a flashlight. <laughs> Asking you shall receive it, I guess so. Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you! Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Hmm. Oh. Am I squeezing through that? Oh. Oh, this looks rancid. Oh, who is this Amy? Oh, jeez. Girl, you good? Is it keeping her alive? Oh, sick. Oh wait, can I talk to her first? Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. It's Amy. I'm not. What's going on? Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Wait, no more dialogue? Can I? I mean, I could pull her plug. She wants to die. She did say they won't let me die. I can help. No. Shit, are you okay? Oh, ew, why is it all like a claw? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Like the afterlife home or? All right, 07 Amy, y'all ready? I think I have to do this. There ain't no home. Oh, fuck. Oh, sick. Well, she said she wanted to die. She said, and I quote, they won't let me die. They won't let anybody die. I think that translates into pull the plug, please. But then she did say to get help. I've, I, I asked earlier if this game <laughs> changes the outcome based on the choices you make, and y'all said no, so. Oh, is there a bad boy coming? Anything else in here? Oh. Upsilon shuttle station B, stable, basic system powered, powered, powered. Were these um not powered before? It was not powered before, no. Oh, okay, so I needed to pull these plugs in order for that to get powered. Sorry, Amy. Oh my god, I hear footsteps, I think. Okay. 
Wait, where? How's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? How do I? I got a flashlight. Where did it go? I'm so confused why my flashlight's just gone. I'm in bed just listening to all of this. <laughs> Lopes, I'm so sorry. I appreciate you lurking though. Literally, okay. Wait, 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 no. Adaptable pipes, huh? Pump. Uh, duplex pump, multi-purpose cleaner, valve pack, gaskets, impact wrench, adaptable pipes. Floodable airlock repair set. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm, am I driving this thing? Shuttle J6 activated. All right. Standing by. All right. Fun. Um. I need to go to. Oh, shit. Uh, Theta? No, we're supposed to meet her at Lambda. Which is the first stop anyway. Yup. We're going. Oh, it's like a ride. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun. The world's 2006. Most way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. Oh, transports to the surface. I wonder what the surface looks like. Oh, I'm excited. Lee. flashlight back wait is that broken glass I need to smash it with something oh emergency oh emergency exit ah! oh great it's fine everything's okay Hello? Oh, incoming call? Hello? Simon. Simon, are you there? Yep. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you 
Just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. I don't trust Catherine? any voice anymore after uh, Carl. Okay? Yeah, she's probably just a robot, to be honest. Okay, lens flare, okay. Hmm. Four, six, seven, three. Okay, well, eh. Oh, I need to take this with me. Oh, I'm goofy, I forgot to grab that. Oh, exit? Oh. Well, that's not not obvious. Hi, Molly. Welcome back. Oh. These barnacles? Oh. Here we go again. So odd. I can just breathe underwater. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. Alright. Please is a load of barnacles. Nice spark. <laughs> I can find Lambda, right? I mean really. How big can this ocean be? He's chasing us. Did we lose him? Oh my god, what a goofball. We looped him out. Lol, easy. Lambda. Ooh. Wait, though, I wanted to check over here. Hello. Oh, God. Does anybody know if I should do this first? This feels like I should do this first, though. Ooh, though, I know that sounds Unable awful. To activate. Escape vessel. Oh, I guess we don't do this first then because I can't use it. Oh, so maybe we get that from here. This must be Lambda, where Catherine is. I see. I see, I see. Uh, for the rest of this game hasn't been too scary yet. There's been a couple things we've had to run from, but it's been okay. Not yet. Got an achievement for discovering Lambda. I feel like Catherine's just gonna be a robot. I feel like everyone's just been robots. Quick. 
Oh, where did it go? Wait, where did it? Y'all, this is bad. I want to look at it. What is this her? Right here. So I told you she's a robot, probably. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. Oh, it shows her sure? face on the it screen. Sure, how it looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can I, sulk I, as much as you fix want. Her. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. Oh, What's she's a got a Cortex chip. It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Slide sure, it into whatever. Okay. You didn't have to say it like that. How do I put it in? What did you want me to do? The tool you're carrying. Plug it into the computer over there. Uh oh. Just plug it into the terminal. All right. Terminal 27 activated. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy Zephy, enough. Zephy, thank Just you for the prime the chip stuff. into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. So she it came out of her? Oh. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Oh. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Oh, so now is she in our little... Just pretty much anything will fit. That's oh, a dream. This feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. Why does she look like Lord? So Doesn't she look like Lord? About? Anybody My else project. see Lord in her face? Oh, well... I saved all the people on the station that looks as like brain Lord. scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from... But, uh, like, not with her well, fluffy hair. This. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. <gasps> so the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door Not for you. Kath. Wait, so... Okay. What was it said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How... Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Okay, yeah, oh. yeah. I wanted them to talk about the years. They they kind of just did right there. So it seems like no nobody explained this to me or anything yet because we're still kind of learning. But it seems like 
the brain scans maybe that they were testing on to kind of do tests on like became um uh what's the word where things just like come to life like they became like living like i feel like there's a te better technical term for that today. you say something sorry still trying to figure out how you got sentient there. keep at it yeah yeah I'd yeah really like sentient is what i was thinking of to the bottom of the sea was a so it idea. seems like maybe the brains that they took to test on became sentient or something but in like a robot form so you can have two versions of you because she just said that the real life version of Catherine could still be alive so that must have been kind of what ended up happening over like the last i don't know 80 years i don't know how long we're in the future that's my theory so far you know it's like the robots end what up happened before? taking over type of thing that creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Hmm. Wait, what did, what did she want us to do? Just go into the other room? Oh, I guess we'll just... But isn't the thing out here that we're not supposed to look at? This room? Ooh, okay. We need to remember that there's a butthole in here. What happened to the tower and the dock and the welcome center? What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's it's so strange. Hmm. <sighs> oh. What is this about? From Antias to Chris. I've stayed up all night. Seemed like a waste to sleep. I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming. Also, this is from the year 2103. Oh. Uh, I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comment like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up. Wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone had a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you are able to go on, and if it's a life worth living. Looks like shit about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. Oh, wow. There's so really I no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Yeah, I was gonna Pretty say. Sure. You were wow. all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Is that a piece of a guitar? Oh. Ain't no way. Yeah, go away. Shoo. Don't come back. Don't even think about it. Anyway. Catherine was saying that there's another version of her that could still be alive, so I'm thinking that the brain scans they've been doing at the beginning are just becoming sentient and and um, turning into uh, robots. Oh, that's cool. Just I can check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the ark. Yeah, we're underwater currently. Opinion poll? Ooh, okay, who's that? Okay, Robin first. Are you excited about the Ark? No. At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Okay. Are you excited about the arc? What are your thoughts on the arc? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the arc reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operating. 
operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not gonna be easy. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Hmm. Mm. What month was the letter about the comment from? 2103? Is that what it was? Yeah, it was. Oh, I'm so sorry. January. Yeah, January. And this is July. So, yeah, this is about six months later. I don't remember what day. It was, yeah, six or seven months. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Hmm. Any parks and forests? Nope. Hmm. Sun, Mercury, Venus. Arc orbit. So this is for outer space stuff. You're reading this, you successfully entered the ARC. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with this survey. <laughs> okay, I'm going to answer this truthfully. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel normal. I feel invigorated. I'm a better version of myself. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. I feel fake, no longer a real person. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. I feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I, I have felt that. I feel altered, a change in character. I feel lost. I don't exist anymore. I feel normal. How would you describe your senses? Normal. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked as if my senses are numb. I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses. I feel more sensitive because we're playing a scary game. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it. Something's wrong. It's disconnecting. Everything feels constructed. Depressing. I can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. It's pleasant. I mean... I would say it's disconnecting. Everything feels constructed. I'm confused. It's like 80 years later. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? I feel fine. I feel like I lost myself. I'm more in my previous existence. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. How do you perceive your new existence? It's a different continuation of my previous self, like a new chapter in my life. It's like being born all over again, a complete do-over. It's something completely different that has nothing to do with my previous self. It's like a new chapter in my life. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? As much as my previous life, yes, but with less meaning. Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. No, it's too detached from reality and everything I know. I want to be optimistic. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Oh my god! I need to think about it? Yes. <laughs> no. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating in the ARC team. I found a tracker homed in on the ARC. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Hmm. 
He's in the Atlantic. Right? Is that where we are? Lambda. Okay, it's far away from us. Of course, it's in the furthest place. Why wouldn't it be? I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Can she just come on my little walkie-talkie thing? I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Makes a good you point. You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to <gasps> Oh, Theta. yeah, the thing really? we went in first. It was completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay, then. Let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't. Cool. This is the worst game of Minesweeper I've ever seen. Where did you go? I'm waiting. I'm right here. Oh. Can Our I lady pull the Lord. Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just... Be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Nice. I thought maybe she would talk to us again. Oh, it's another one. Nice. That looks like the stuff I drank earlier. Whoa! Not to be arrogant, but is that Buddha? It looks like Buddha, kind of. He will protect us. Alright, we're taking Buddha with us. This is our emotional support, Buddha. Buckle up, Buddha. Uh, huh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Oh! Sorry, it's dead. Worth a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great. Mm. I wonder how long we can keep him. Oh, is that a friend? The little guy over there? Are you the one that has the flashlight? Why does it look like an angry bird? Oh. Buddha will protect us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Buddha. Buddha, come back. Buddha, stop. Buddha, stop! Oh.
job. Oh no. Oh brother. Oh no, I lost him. Oh no. Oh, I see him! Buddha! No, come here! No, no, no. Oh my god, I can get him, I can get him, I can do this. Yes! Jesus. Oh my god, he's floating in midair. I got him. Oh, I see. Oh, Uda is shaking. Oh! holding an object and see it move just so violently when the little shaking happens. Oh, we're going in. Oh, brother. Okay, let's leave him there. I we might have to leave him. I don't know if this is possible. I can't pocket him, can I? I don't think this is going to work. Unless... How far did I throw him up? A few moments later. We have to go on. I want to see what we look like. Good. All right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. Damn, this place has been like fucked for a long time if it all looks like that. Not my Buddha. Oh god, it's right there. Oh. Did I die? I think I got hurt. I was too busy rising, rising. I was too busy reading the story that I didn't realize that that guy was right there. I looked at his feet. I'm just gonna walk and just look at this beautiful wall. A butthole would be really nice right now. <gasps> Please be a butthole. <gasps> There's a butthole in here! Okay, I'm closing the door. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's very weird. Hey, mm. Maddie's so true. 
I just gotta wait for it to peace out. Did it open the door? Oh my god, it opened the door. How the f do I leave? Take this skull. I'm in the corner. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh god. Wait, what the f There's body parts everywhere. right there hold on let me um i want to make sure there's not anything great over here ah uh -uh, nothing to see here nothing to see here nothing to see here It'd be kind of cool to play the um, safe version of this game where monsters can't kill you, they're just creepy. Because then you can really just go up to them and really look at them. Oh god, it's over there! It's coming up! Um, uh, kind of sounds like a Call of Duty zombie. trust anything can you do anything with that let's go up here oh there was a whole like upstairs bit I didn't go to I wonder if this is a dead end Wait. Oh, a butthole? Oh. Why does it sound so destructive? Oh. I die? What? Hi. How? Was I not supposed to pull those things out? all the same 99 steady 99 steady
Maybe I only need to pull one of them out. No. trying to run no because now it pulls us down and then warning reactor collapse imminent proceed to the emergency no, i think it still chased us what did it read proceed to an emergency exit so maybe we're not supposed to go that way maybe we are supposed to pull the plugs but run it a different way and then we have to run yeah proceed to the emergency vessel warning reactor collapse imminent proceed to the emergency vessel Oh, it's meant to be a chase scene, I understand, okay. I mean, I don't really remember where the emergency vessel is. Maybe just follow the red light? That would make the most sense, right? Oh shit, man. Huh? What the hell happened here? What are all these nice. emergency? What did you do? I, I pulled up, the plug. Okay? Can you get us out of here? Yes, yes. I just need to pump the water out and get a trajectory in place. Hurry up. Second. Nice. Right, taking off. Hold on to something. Hold on to something. Oh, okay. I'll hold on to the, the fire extinguisher. Steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Wow. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! Hold on, the blast just pushed us off the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Did we hit Delta? Did we stay alive? Seems like we're fine. Hello, puppies. emergency button there. Um, do I need this at all? I think we just opened the door, actually. Oh. I'll never get this open. Oh, great. <gasps> Is it our friend? Oh? <gasps> it's our friend! 
happened? Oh, it sings. Ah. Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Little guy. Don't worry, Kath. I'll find a way to say hi. We can do it. Let's get the theta. Maybe follow. Oh, what's this? Oops. I think we're just wearing a suit, but I'm trying to see if like our if we look all funky. Oh, <gasps> I bought a hole. I don't know if our health is like jeopardized, but I'll use this. Is that us? Interesting. <gasps> Fishes. Are you day. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Suit? Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get to Theta. Help me out here, will you? I hear is where it goes. Brenda, did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Hmm, I can't do any funny numbers. Interesting. Classy, even when women aren't around, you know. Mm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Oh. Light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this vitreous flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them, stop them from uh, obfuscating this divine mission. Oh. My reflection in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Just let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. That sounds like lyrics. It's exciting to watch. Wow, claim. Wait, hold. Claim Delta. Oh. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Juan clean the black blood from the machinery. Now it's crusty services seem to be complete. Com Compliment, seem to compliment even outshine what Delta was. Wow, I don't know why I couldn't read compliment. <gasps> Chess? <gasps> no, I want to play. Come on. Oh, what a tease. What do you mean? Corrupt opponent? What? You might have a chance later in the game, though, if I recall. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. I'm still here. Okay. I don't think... Y'all... Do I get the signal number in there? And I missed it? Oh, this seems very, uh, the light's on. Can you do it? <gasps> He's doing it! 
Let me go back really quick, because that was pretty close by, I think. Ooh. Shipping? Wait, what did that read? What dates? January was the last date. Wait, 24, 2104. Music? Recovered two files. Strasky, you oh. can see the Zeppelin now. Good. I think this is just recording. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volchek did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Anchors is set up being a stubborn old man. Alright. <laughs> see you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, That's a band. Oh, I, to hear I love Delta again. Sleep. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Sound like a phasma ghost. Peter, can you hear me? Oh, I just listened to that. Okay, where oh where did we? Oh, that's got goop on it. Um, I think it was this way. It was like a tower thing that we, um... Oh, that's a new crab, I think. Perhaps it's this way? Yeah, that, right? I think this was it. New crab just dropped. Oh, this. Oh. Come in, Strasky. Can you hear me? Theta, listen. Acres is headed for Theta. Delta Lumar Annex, getting a signal but no audio. Strasky, it's Como Rabi. Acres has gone mad. He's dangerous. Oh. Strasky. Sorry, Delta. No audio. Try calling from another access point. Strasky, I can try setting. I have pictures. Hmm. So, Atkers, Acres, Atkers is bad. <laughs> Mm -mm. This makes you want to watch Alien? I've never actually seen Alien. I've played Alien Isolation, but I've never... Uh, so many crabs. I've never... seen the movies. Okay, so we gotta find... Oh, this is what I wanted to go into, I think. Yeah, Delta. Hello, butthole. <gasps> Chess! New game? Ah! While the K8, the K8 lacks a voice module, it is able to communicate via simplified sounds and lights. The vessel has basic intelligence only. A pilot is needed to fully utilize its equipment. Oh. From Construct Theta, Subject Delta Evacuation. Terry, it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate to Theta on the 14th. 
14th of August of 2103. Everything is being taken care of and you will uh, all be given new positions as you arrive. You will have to fall into the ranks, of course. The last thing we need are more leaders. Uh-oh. 13th. Subject, it's your funeral. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Uh, Constrat. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me. Terry. This isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just the messenger. You want to stay? I can buy you some time if you want to hang out at your dump. But your crew is moving tomorrow. Kronstadt. The 14th. Evacuation successful. Mr. Ackers, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has safely arrived at Theta. Let me know when you are ready to move and I'll send a transport. It's Peter Strastsky. Theta dispatch. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Mr. Ackers. Don't hesitate to ask if you want to be relocated to Theta. Mm. Okay. At least I still celebrate the holidays. I will win. The 1001. Can't interact with that. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Hi, Ascended Potato. Hello. Hmm. Do you have anything on you that says? Is there anything else in here? No. Where am I gonna find the signal? I feel like the signal thing is what I want to be focusing on right now, but I'm not sure where to get the signal information. Does anybody know if that's what I should be working on right now? Oh. This is new. You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? Oh. He got me pretty bad. I think I'm even worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember. The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Uh-oh. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on. No. Oh. Sad. So that... What the hell does this do? Oh, did I turn the computer on? Fuck you, Ackers. Invalid command, override. Oh, okay, so they were trying to get in. Akers is doing some strange shit. He just took a Zeppelin back to Theta. Don't let him dock. Shut it the fuck down. Ooh, drafts. Damn, I can't send anything. It was just a draft. Landing platform. Headquarters. Com antenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know what I need to use for the com antenna. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure I could just sit there and try every single option, but like, what's the point in that? You know what I mean? Oh, that powered on the computer. Okay. Think, uh, the next thing you have to do is place Catherine on something in a docking bay. So we can do the signal? Oh, it'll just be a square platform outside. Okay. We shall hunt for said square platform. Yeah, this isn't... I mean, this is the only thing I can interact with currently that I remember. Let me check in here. Oh, cards. 
Yeah, I thought this room was gonna be more serious. Oops. Huh. Yeah, we read that. There's something squishy in there. We tried that. This is some sort of something. All right. Well, it wasn't there. So perhaps. Is this a. Oh! Wait, Link established 216. Did I just randomly do that? Well, let's see if it's different now. Maybe I might be able to call something. Wow! Y'all, I think I randomly just did it. Two sixteen. I can echo two sixteen. It's everywhere. What? Hello? Can I request a transport now? Yeah, Morgan, what's up? Water. We're drowning. Who is this? Alan. What's your name? Simon. Where? What are you? Alan, can you hear me? Alan? Okay, so... So, 49? Maybe we'd have to literally turn it so it's over here. Like, basically, 180. Yeah, like the little... It's gonna have to be the lines. I don't think we find it anywhere. We just, yeah, we just, it's random. 49? Transport active, unspecified cargo. Transport active, unspecified cargo. Okay, mm. me. so is that just repeating that? Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of nice at the same time. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Wait, but what about Zeppelin 840? Oh, it's coming. Oh, that's terrifying. Definitely the Zeppelin. Oh. I wonder what it would have said if I did the other one. Oh, I bet you. Uh, does it. Does it. <gasps> nice. Okay, I'm ready. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ah, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I had to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. 
Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The, the toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. What? Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Damn. Do we leave her here? Stun baton! I have no choice. Oh my god, we got a gun. No, not him. Our little friend, not not in a fucking long shot. Where's the other guy that was a fucking misogynistic piece of shit? Where's that? Anything you want to say? Don't. Did you oh, come on. Hello? Brandon? You okay? What the hell happened? I want to hear the dialogue out. bad you say anything else any yeah. last uh oh spaghetti you this works I'll be taking that is he sad that I did that I promise it wasn't Listen. No. I. No. I needed to do it. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Wait, what? Like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. Because we're underwater, sink. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, what sure. What the fuck? Excuse me? Sink is shipping. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Do you hear me speaking? Of course you do. I wanted to let you know that I know. You didn't blindly pick me out of the herd. The slow waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. It's a beautiful thing. And I won't be selfish. I will help. Tuck them in. Watch them sleep. Mm. They too will find peace within the universe of the wow. Wow. Oh, I want you to press the flipping button. I'm a good thing. I can't get over how much she looks like Lord. You're really good back there, Simon. Thanks. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Thanks. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunback, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. What? That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunback, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? 
Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I feel like we're different. I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. Mm. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Can I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? There's even Speaking any of which, man left. we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Kath, uh, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? Yes, ma'am. See you soon. All right. Well, Theta. Y'all, is this a great place to stop because we're about to go into Theta? I think so. Okay, perfect. Because yeah, it's it's coming, it's it's creeping slowly to 2 a.m. <sighs> Sleep is good, so yes, yes. This is a good place to stop. Yeah, we just got to Theta. So we will pick this back up tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll just jump right back in and do this tomorrow.